What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my pal Alex and Feisty Pants. Oh, a hugger! <laughs> Daddy's got on his Bailey shirt. Yes? Yeah. Say hi to everybody. What's up, What's up Feisty Pants? What's up? Uh, got the Bailey shirt on, ready for uh, ready for what the hell is on today? Cheers. Clash of uh, it's Clash of Champions later tonight. Yeah. Bailey's fighting. I don't think she's gonna win, but you know, she might. She might. I mean, anything could happen. Um, if you haven't seen the Clash of Champion picks, there's still time to watch it before the pay per view starts later tonight. Um, what uh, what else? What do what uh? You want to get right to the questions? Right to the questions. Right to the questions. Anthony wants to know what's my favorite Pokemon, my favorite video game, and my favorite wrestling match. I told him. My favorite Pokemon is the one that wins. <laughs> What's your favorite uh, Pokemon, Feisty Pants? Uh, Charizard. Charizard. Uh, favorite video game? Minecraft. Minecraft. Daddy's is EverQuest. I haven't played it in a solid, like, six months. But, you know, it's that kind of game that when you turn it back on, you're right there. And favorite wrestling match? I mean, do you know how many wrestling matches there are in the world? <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't answer that one. Andrew Gendar wants to know what my favorite Jack Black movie was. I liked High Fidelity. He was like a he was like a second character in uh, High Fidelity. Shallow Hal was really funny. School of Rock was a classic. Uh, he's done a number of movies though, and he does a lot of voices. I didn't really. Uh, realized that he did a lot of voice acting, which was pretty cool too. But he's good. I like him. I like you. You know who Jack Black is, my guy? No. Okay, he's an actor. He does a lot of movies. I don't know if that that he's done too many uh, kids movies. That's all right. Teresa, the Yankee buddy, wants to know Mario or Sonic. Mario. Mario, yes. Uh, would you ever like to work for the Yes Network, and why? Of course. I love baseball. Um, doing the yet yes network that would be like Michael living Michael K's dream, cause um, he's he's living his dream. He's doing baseball that he loves. It's a job he loves. I, that would be great. I mean, you'd have to be there like every day. I don't know if I could work like every all 365 days of the year. I'm sure there's days off and vacation time. I guess we could figure that out. I don't know. Um, but yeah. And who do you think will replace Mark Teixeira when he retires? Greg Bird. I mean, he's injured this year. He's actually, he came back last month and started hitting batting practice. He should be ready to go for spring training. But yeah, it's it's like hands down, it's Greg Bird. Um, Bloodshots wants to know if I had any superpower, uh, what would it be? His would be to pull anything out of his pocket. And I said, that's more like a magic trick. <laughs> Daddy would have, if you've ever read the comics and uh, right out of the Age of Apocalypse, there was Nate Gray. He was the... Age of Apocalypse version of Cable. Uh, he had the telekinesis and the telepathicness. Telepathicness? I don't think that's a word. Uh, that Jean Grey had. Only he had it under more control and he wasn't psychotic. So <laughs> so that's who I would want to be. Nate Grey. Uh, tele telepathic and telekinetic. Uh, WWE Figure Review 003. Dude, what was it like being on Nat Geo show? It was cool. It was it was it was a lot of fun to have all these people running around the house shooting you on camera, and I got to spend the afternoon with Andy Van Slyke, is my favorite baseball player. We uh, he came over, and we're like, oh, there he is, you know, and and, and I, I mean, I saw him get out of the car in the driveway, so I I, I think I kind of ruined their surprise, you know, but but I mean, you know, we talked over lunch, we talked baseball over lunch, we ordered subs from down the street, and. Um, was probably Jersey Mike's <laughs> because they're great, and uh, we had sandwiches and we're all talking, you know, locker room stuff and you know some of the camera guys. Me and my brother are there and uh, Feisty Pants was in school when he uh, when they shot the video. They did it during the day, and um, and then you know we were talking outside and then we got to play catch. I mean, how great is that? Um, the only disappointment was that they spun the um, they spun the, the the plot to be more of a. Hey, look at these guys and their problems instead of their awesome collections, you know? But, yeah, whatever. Uh, Tyler Nixon wants to know, are you an artist? I am. It actually says it in my Twitter profile. Guess what? <laughs> um, what do you draw and what's Feisty Pants' favorite wrestler, Tyler wants to know. 
Who's your favorite wrestler? Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. He's going to kick the crap out of Rusev tonight. Yes, he is. <laughs> You're going to wear your Roman Reigns t-shirt? I might. You might. <laughs> Uh, Casey Smith wants to know if I could do fo more food, uh, more food reviews with Grim. Yeah, when he's got stuff, you know, I'll go try it out. I mean, I'm not gonna try out stuff that's incredibly gross, but you know, put some, some, something. I mean, I don't know. Uh, Deacon Howard wants to know if I will ever go to Cedar Point. It's a huge roller coaster park um, in Ohio. Uh, I don't live in Ohio. I live in New Jersey. <laughs> and I don't do roller coasters. Uh, the back injury um, kind of prevents that. Jono wants to know what's um, your favorite horror movie for Halloween. I had three. Um, Phantasm. You guys need to look up Phantasm. They actually remastered it. I saw a commercial for it over the weekend. Uh, maybe it's coming out this Tuesday or maybe it's out already. I, I didn't really catch the release date. But it's like wholly remastered and it's it looks amazing. Uh, Scream. Scream is kind of like my funny horror movie. Because, like, you know, I always say, I'll be right back. <laughs> and it's like, oh, you didn't say. Because in the, in the end, you guys have to watch the movie if you haven't seen it. Uh, they're watching, like, it's a big party, college party or whatever. Or it's a high school, I don't know. And um, they're watching Halloween movies. And, like, the host of the party is like, you can't say I'll be right back. Because that's the first person that gets killed in the movie. And then the guy who turns out to be the killer... Um, goes into the garage for more beer or whatever, and he's like, I'll be right back. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, so Scream is my is my comedy horror. Phantasm is, is like, you know, yeah, that's good quality vintage horror. Uh, but, I mean, there's nothing creepier than, like, you know, you turn the corner and there's Michael Myers standing on the corner just looking at you in that... In that mask, not the not the hockey mask. That's Jason. Michael Myers wore the um, just the the white mask and the hair like like a troll. Um, I don't think you've ever seen any of those. No, I think the scariest stuff you've ever seen is Ghost Adventures <laughs> and Goosebumps. Yeah, David Griffin wants to know my thoughts on the Zika virus. This is the absolute stupidest thing of the year. This is this this is something that could have been prevented if one person paid attention and followed the rules about coming back into the country when you've been to another country that has the Zika virus. A number of people have died from this already, and it didn't have to be a thing because if you paid attention to the rules, you would have kept the Zika virus out in that part of Africa that it comes from, and no one would have suffered. At all. But no, people just like, you know, they they act without consequence and they can do whatever they want. But no, they really can't. Stupid morons. Morons! To quote Super Pop. Uh, McDonald's or Burger King? I think I like Burger King a little. <coughs> wow, that was deep. I don't know if you guys heard that on camera. That was the deepest burp ever. You like Burger King or McDonald's better? I don't really know. You don't really know? Well, Feisty Bands kind of likes them both. I like more of the menu at Burger King. What was the biggest lesson you learned in life? Oh, I'm still learning. <laughs> My biggest lesson is that you can't trust anybody. That is that is, that is, is the damn truth. Um, except for Feisty Pants. I can trust Feisty Pants, right? Yes, because he's my boy. Uh, which TV show do you think is not getting the love that it should and why? I don't know. Um, there's a lot of new TV shows. However, if you guys haven't seen Lethal Weapon, uh, that it, it premiered uh, this past week, you need to see that. Because if you watch the movies back in the day with Danny Glover and, and uh, Mel Gibson, this is like right out of the movie. This is great. It's got the humor. It's got the camaraderie, the friendship, plenty of action. The family content is there. It, oh, it's great. It's clearly, hands down, the best show of the week so far. Um, if, it, if it even does half of what the first episode was the rest of the season it's going to be great um if you were given f a free concert tickets what would you go to and why i don't know do you want to go see a concert my boy who would you want to go see yeah i don't know if emma returns to wwe raw what do you think they will do with her 
I don't, I don't know. She's been cleared for like a couple weeks now, and they haven't brought her on. Maybe they're saving her for tonight. That would be something. I think Paige is getting saved for tonight. I, I talked about it in my uh, in my picks. Um, what was your reaction to Feisty Pants' first word, and do you remember it? It was so cute. My brother, the original champ, his first word was food. Because <laughs> he's an eater. <laughs> what was the worst level you had to do in EverQuest? Um, there, was, there was this one time I was running to meet the original champ out in this place called the Lake of Ill Omen. I was level 21, and it was the best kind of uh, experience. And the Kunark expansion was brand new at the time. And I had a poor graphic card, and it lagged, like, so bad. Uh, my invisible uh, spell dropped. Uh, I couldn't move. The frame rate was just, it was, like, pretty much standing still. I got killed so many times, I dinged backwards to level 19. And that I nearly quit the game that night. It was bad. So getting back to level 21 was pretty tough. Um, because, you know, because not not that it was hard to do. It was just hard to endure because of, you know, I got killed by lag, essentially. <laughs> uh, your thoughts on the new Hardy's gimmick on TNA? It sucks! I don't watch TNA because TNA sucks. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't watch TNA. I, I wouldn't even know the new Hardy's gimmick if you asked me. Is there an old Hardy's gimmick? I think everything in there is just a gimmick. How cool would it be if GTS Grimm's Wrestling, Grimm's Toy Show Wrestling hat was a video game and would you take part? Of course, of course. I mean, that's kind of how it is now, unofficially. I mean, you get the WWE 2K, 2K16, you can download, uh, like make your own character or like if you make it and, or somebody else makes it and you want to download it from the network or whatever. The, uh, I don't know what it's called, but you know, you can download somebody else's character they made. It's it's a, it's a thing. I've taken part. I don't, maybe you missed that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, how old were you when you had the chicken pox? I actually got it in my 20s. It kind of sucked. I was at a barbecue, and um, and somebody, you know, somebody's kid had it, and I didn't have it yet, so I caught it, and I had it about two weeks. Um, speaking of sports, uh, we lost a... Um, we lost a huge superstar uh, this weekend in a boating accident. Jose Fernandez on the Miami Marlins, uh, 24 years old. He did. It's uh, it's sad. Uh, he had a huge uh, career. He had a very bright future, and um, you know I'm sure he will be missed uh, by everyone in the game. So uh, take a moment to uh, say goodbye there. Uh, Man, 2016 is not taking any prisoners. Take a minute to Google all the people that died this year so far, like like famous people. It's vicious. Vicious. Um, good time to uh, mention something. Uh, oh, oh, we uh, we did some serious Pokemon Go this weekend. Uh, shout out to Ben and JR who recognized us down in Ocean City on Saturday afternoon. It was really cool. <laughs> Me and Feisty Pants, we parked the car, we're coming up the walkway, and we're like, um, you know, we're just, well, we got the game running and everything, and these two kids, and they they were with uh, their family, their parents, and I think there was like another sibling there, and it's like, Alex? And I'm like, yep. <laughs> right? And I'm like, do you remember Feisty Pants? And they're like, oh my god, oh, what am I gonna do? And they, they were like, they were just overwhelmed. It was, I said, I, you know, and I asked him, I said, you guys play Pokemon Go? He's like, no. And I said, oh, well, we're going to go play. I'll tell everybody you said hi. And I said, what's your names? Ben and JR. I'm like, have a good day, boys. And, um, is that it for Q&A? Leave your questions in the comments all week long. I'll write them down and then I answer them. I mean, who else keeps a notebook like this and answers their questions every week? I don't know. I think I'm the only, I think Paul might be onto something. I might be the hardest working YouTube guy there is. Like this video, leave us a comment, and subscribe for more.